hi she was seven and no it's been a while i am so sorry i haven't been putting out videos i've been super busy y'all know it's the holidays okay um so i wanted to come on here and just make a really quick video saying a couple things thank you first of all to cemetery cat she sent me this beautiful beautiful mac lipstick in the shade ruby woo and I love it. It's matte. It's beautiful. It's so pigmented. Um, it, it goes on really good. And it matches my skin tone really well. So thank you so much. I got on red. I'm rocking my candy canes. So I'm feeling very Christmassy and holiday-ish or whatever you call it. So thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching too. Um, I wasn't expecting that gift. So it was a surprise to me. Thank you. Okay, so today I want to talk about knowing your worth as a woman. A lot of women are tricked and told that they're, they have to bring something to the table. Um, they have to do this. They have to do that. A man's not going to want you unless you pay half the bills. And before you know it, you're going to be paying for that man. You're going to be paying his bills. So it's very important that you know your worth. Okay, then the thing that they use to sell any product in this world, the number one thing that they use to sell any product is sex, beauty in a woman. Okay, cars. They use women to sell cars. Clothes, jewelry, anything you can think of, they use a, a, a woman to sell it. Okay sex they use that to sell everything why because it gets attention why because men are attracted to it why because it's the most sought after thing in the on the world okay um people will say it's money but why do people want money especially men why do men want money do men want money to impress other men do men want money to be able to uh, drive a nice car, but why do men want the nice car to attract the woman, right? So This is why you should know your worth know that you don't have to bring anything to the table But what you are, okay, what you are is already worth more than the table itself, okay? so If someone asks you well, what are you bringing to the table? You say well, what have you set out for me at, at your table? Why are you inviting me to the table? If you're inviting me to an empty table, why should I show up? You know, I thought, you know, when someone courts another person, asks another person to marry them, you know, they don't ask you, oh, by the way, bring half your stuff. Oh, by the way, uh, this is a partnership, you know, even though I'm asking you to marry me, you know, no. Anyway. So when the man does ask you, remember, you bring nothing, 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 nothing. Now, if you're chasing a man, you're going to, you're going to be expected to give, 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 because you're taking on a more masculine role. Sorry, y'all. A more masculine role. You are now taking the role on of a man because men chase women. And if women chase men, the men say, hmm. She really likes me. I can I can do do whatever I want, and I I can get over on her, and you know it's flattering at first because men, women don't chase men. That's why it's so flattering. And then when the woman becomes like, you know, too much, the guy says, "I have her in the palm of my hand. I can I can basically tell her anything, and she'll do it." Um, so that's where the games begin. So ladies, never chase after a man. I don't care how much you want him. Don't chase after him because men only go for what they want. If they're not coming after you, they don't want you. And they don't want you enough, okay? What men will chase after what they want. They are very competitive, okay? So unless unless you're one of those women who don't go by these rules and just want to play and just want, you know, to be with somebody no matter what, you're gonna end up getting your feelings hurt in the long run because you're going to fall for this guy. He's not into you. 
He's just he's just playing you. You're going to fall for the guy thinking that he's going to grow to love you. But he never chased after you. He never did. So you're just convenient. Okay? So y'all keep that in mind. Never chase after me. I don't care if he gives you a hint or a clue that he want, he likes you but doesn't pursue you, then you just ignore it. You keep moving on. You, go, you move on to the next person who is going to pursue you because you're worth it, okay? Now, a lot of women are stuck on the one they love versus the one who's best for them. Okay, well, I'm in love with him. He just, he's, I'm very attracted to him. This is his net. But this guy right here, I know he'll treat me right, but I'm just not attracted to him. And he's da 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 da. But he's okay, you know. Mar women it usually end up marrying this guy. The guy that's okay, the one that you don't look at first. Those are the guys that get the wives. You know why? Because after the other ones break your heart, move on, leave you hanging, get, you know, get someone else pregnant while they're supposed to be with you, cheat on you, do whatever. This guy is still here and he hasn't gone anywhere. So most times women end up marrying this guy. Why? Because they now see that this first guy that they really like did not pursue them. Therefore, he never really wanted them ever. So don't learn this too late, ladies. Get the good guy before you go and, you know, get heartbroken have a couple kids by the bad guy I'm just saying okay um, because the good guy sometimes is not going to say oh will you marry me with the four kids from the other guy no he's gonna be like well I you had your chance and now you know I waited for you I was here I never changed so ladies don't bypass those good guys you know why because those are the ones that's gonna give you good Christmas gifts those are the ones that are going to surprise you and uh, take you somewhere out of town. Those are the ones that are going to think about you first, not an afterthought. Those are the ones that are going to text you back. Those are the ones who are going to make good fathers. Those are the ones who are going to show up to school plays for your kids. Those are the ones that are going to get down on one knee and ask you to marry them. You won't have to beg them. Those are the kind of men you want to marry because they love you more than any other guy, any other type of guy would. Why? Because they're into you. You are their dream woman, okay? Now, just because that's not your dream man doesn't mean you can't have a good marriage. I mean, think about this. You have a man who will cook you breakfast in bed, bring you gifts, pay all of your bills, say you don't have to work, make a good father, show up for every school event, take you and the kids on vacation. That's a dream man, okay? Not one you have to chase and worry about and check in his phone and be like, ooh, is he doing this? Is he doing that? Because I know he was doing that when we were dating. Your dream man is a man you never expected. And I'm telling you all this because a lot of women will waste their time on loser men just because they think he's the one, because they feel a certain way. There's a meme that was floating around on Facebook and it said something like, when you look at a man and you feel butterflies and giddy and excited, that's not the man for you. When you look at a man and you feel secure, safe, calm, and happy, that's the man for you, okay? You're not supposed to feel all this anxiousness around this guy because this means you're a bumbling fool, okay? When you feel calm, safe, secure, and happy around someone, and comfortable around someone able to open up this is the dream man okay don't, don't worry about looks because looks are gonna fade men get men look better as they get older y'all know that right so if, if you're his dream woman if, if he worships the ground you walk on now he will always do that why because to him he, he put you on a pedestal you were immortalized in his mind as the perfect woman okay why you have to marry someone like that that likes you way more than you could ever imagine you know you gotta basically find someone who worships you okay and you know a lot of women don't like that at first because they like challenges but as soon as you get married you don't want you don't want a challenge okay when you get married you don't want your 
husband saying, oh, well, this is how it's going to be and da 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 you think I'm gonna do what I want I'll be home when I want I'll call you I might not come home you don't want that when you're married you want a st stable house a stable father figure a stable husband figure okay you don't want your neighbors looking at the car that's not in the driveway for three days or hearing y'all argue outside or him not answering his phone when you call you know that's not what you want in a marriage you want a happy peaceful environment of two people that, that can coexist together, love each other, treat each other correctly, okay? You don't need all that drama, okay? And that's what a lot of women forget, okay? You want to be able to brag on your man about what he can do for you, what he can do for your children, what he can do for his family, not how he looks, okay? Okay, because I've said this in another video, Cute does not pay any bills. Cute does not make anyone happy, okay? And the same thing goes for men. A lot of y'all men are bypassing these females. I won't call them females. Um, a lot of men are passing by women because they don't fit this description of their dream woman. But how can you pass them by without even giving them a chance? You know, makeup, there's makeup, there's stuff that you can do to improve women's looks. They just might not know it, you know. You ever see one of those makeover shows, you just get this plain average looking woman and you give them this makeover and they look totally beautiful? Okay, a lot of women can improve on their looks and they just haven't. So you got, you have to see what you're working with. You know, if you are a guy on looks, you know, if you can, if you can get a woman who uh, is not you know, of the world and all materialistic and things she deserves the world like, you know, a lot of women do. If if you can get one of those women to get with you and she, she'll be home, she'll help the kids with homework, cook, clean, um, be a supportive wife, love you, be honest and faithful with you, don't ask you to buy her every latest trendy thing out there, but just want a good man, right? You pass her up for other women who don't want that. You go around chasing women that are out of your league. I know a lot of men get mad when I say women are out of their league, but it's true. If you can't afford to buy a woman a Gucci purse every holiday and that's what she wants, then she's out of your league, okay? If you can't afford to, to get hair and nails done, Gucci purses and stuff like that, and, and the woman that you're chasing expects that from every, any man she dates, you're, she's out of your league, okay? I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about standards, okay? Because you can have the most beautiful woman in the world and she don't want any of that, okay? And she'll work with you because, um, you know, she'll live in a two-bedroom apartment, you know. But as soon as that man comes along with a little bit more money after she's been tired of struggling with you, she might have second thoughts. So, you know, y'all still be careful with, with certain women, you know, because they will figure out their value sooner or later. But right now what I'm saying is, Sometimes women's are, women are out of certain men's leagues and they still pursue them and they shouldn't be doing that. Go for someone who's going to love you more. Go for someone who's going to treat you right, okay? It doesn't have to be equal, okay? It's better if you marry someone who loves you more than them, okay? It's true. There's so many men who are, are married to women who, who their women love more than they, they actually love them. But they're cool with it, you know? They, they made the sacrifice. There are certain sacrifices you have to make in life. Like, do you want beauty or do you want stability, love, nurturing, loyalty? Which one is worth more to you? You know, is is the outward appearance worth more than the, inner, than the inside? That's your choice, you know. And I know you say, well, why can't we have it all? Well, that's why I say get you an average looking person. Give them some money. Tell them to go get a makeover. Tell them to go get fixed up. Tell them to go buy some new clothes. Tell them to go get their hair done. Tell them to go try some makeup. Tell them to watch some videos and makeup tutorials and how to look better, you know. Sometimes women just need a little help to look a little bit better. And sometimes men, you know, they just need a little push in order to, you know, climb to the next level of their career. You know, sometimes they're afraid of responsibility and they won't, you know, try to get a promotion or they won't try to get this job here. You know, they're afraid to fail. Sometimes you got to push them to the next level by saying, hey, you know what? I want a better lifestyle. Go for it. 
go for it. I believe in you. You need to go for it because we don't, we're supposed to be living better than this. Okay. So sometimes you got to push that man to that next level. Okay. Even, even though he's good, he can be better. And if he doesn't, if, if he's not, you know, fitting into the, the lifestyle that you thought y'all would have, he's going to push himself even further. So y'all remember that and happy holidays, thumbs up, and I'll see y'all later. Put some topic video um, ideas below and I'll see what I can do for 2016, okay?